I agreed to no slander and funny stuff and to ask Shug Knight about his message to the kids. And so what is the special message you would like to send to the kids? Like I said before, when you first came in, if it's any time it could be anything positive to help with the kids, well, if they can see from if it's my mistakes or the next person's mistakes, we don't have to make the same mistakes. I'm all open for it. And what, and what, would, you, and what would you like to say to them about the mistakes? About the mistakes? That, well, I, I, I was, you know, everybody makes mistakes. And you got in the media what's going on today for is, a lot of kids saying they get their they input off of rap music or rap artists or, or entertainment. I think um, some of that could be true, but most of it, uh, I would like them to understand that majority, not majority, basically all the artists who's involved in, if they get in trouble, these guys have record companies back them that will get them high-powered lawyers. They have high-powered lawyers. Nine out of 10, yep. they would never ever, you know, Let's come to the penitentiary. You know what I mean? But the guys in the inner city, if they get in trouble, they have a, what we call a public tender, a public defender, <laughs> which is, they're not gonna have the best. And they, and, go, to and they go to prison for a long time. So they should time. model themselves on rap stars with big lawyers. No, they shouldn't. And besides that, you know, you have um, certain individuals who's artists, and they might get in trouble. They might do a few things, but they like in, they well known names, and they inform it for the police. They snitches. Snoop Dogg. And if they get in trouble, they're going to get a free pass. Like, if you hear about it, um, there's several artists that would never, ever come to prison. No matter what they do, you hear about it getting caught if it's firearm, getting caught with drugs, doing this, doing that. Like who, you think? Well, put it to you like this. When you look at it and you think about it, and you see that if you watch the news, you follow the people's trials, people's court cases, or you follow the what you hear, word of mouth, what you hear about the streets, about the guy getting 25 years because he had um, a piece of crack cocaine on him or uh -huh. a guy got 10 years because he had a firearm on him. Then you get a guy for us, if it's a, um, it's not personal, so I don't want to make it seem like okay. I'm slandering these guys' names or, or if you hear about a lot of the artists, used to be, some of them used to be on death row, some on other labels, you might hear them um, getting caught with drugs, getting caught with a gun, stab somebody, do those type of crimes. They're not going to come to prison. One of the reasons they're not going to come like to prison. Snoop or? Well, Snoop would never come. I mean, Snoop was on, you know, we beat a murder trial for him, but then he was on probation. Then he got caught with two ounces of marijuana. Then he got caught with guns. And each time, it's nothing. They're not going to violate him. Because for the street guys, the street guys know what I'm talking about. There's no puzzle. I mean, if you get a guy that constantly getting in trouble and never going to come to prison, that's because he's an informant. He's a rat, yeah. a snitch, yeah. you know. And they're more important to the police on the streets than in here because they let them know what's going on. They might say they sold by telling on three or four or five other guys. You know, I'm from Compton, and I'm, a rat is the lowest you can go. A rat will do anything. But you don't think Snoop was a rat? I mean, I don't want to make Alice, I don't want to, I don't need to put nobody out there. Because okay. if, if I do that, it's like a form of telling. But for the street guys out there, they know. They know this guy never come to prison. They know the only way to keep out, stay out of prison is one way. And you look at it, I got nine years. It's just that he watched the tape 25 times. He couldn't tell if I kicked or just broke it up. The victim said I didn't know, but I still got nine years. I know I was going to have to pay a debt to society before it's coming to prison because if you come from the inner city, you come from the ghetto, and you act up off that block, you'll come to prison sooner or later. If you don't come to prison, there's only a few things, you know, you got to be working with the police.